Hi guys, so today we have a couple of D&D green texts that we find quite funny, so hopefully you will as well. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And as well, everyone stay safe and we'll see you at the end of the video. Have you ever had to kick a player out slash drop a grip? If so, what happened? Going from forever DM to dropping my grip. Agree on rotating the role of DM. Nobody ever prepares anything. End up being DM for four years. Players murder hobo until death. Create a new character. Repeat. Don't listen during session zero. Come at least an hour late to every session, which is always at my place. Decide to run Curse of Strad. Prepare whole campaign. Write them physical letter as plot hook. Darkened paper with coffee. Wax seal and everything. It's calligraphy. They can't read it. They throw the letter away. That's awful. <laughs> no, honestly, that is He's genuine. put so much effort into that. That's awful. Yeah. Remember, I did use that letter, and then he just couldn't read it as well. No, it, James, it had a spider on it. Yeah, it had a spider on it, and it had, like, all this weird fun. Like, I thought I did a good job. I did that once, okay? <laughs> and you used to really shoot me at the time, so... It was I my thought... first game of fucking D&D. &D. Leave me alone, bitch. It's actually just... Second session, I believe. I was drunk as well, I think. Alright, okay, let's keep going. <laughs> sure thing. Cleric of Pellor. Lawful good. Persuades Coachman to take party in the dangerous part of Forest. At night. Where just recently a carriage had been robbed. Do my best as DM to emphasise that they should prepare, gear up, and don't go at night. Cleric persuades Coachman. Promises he'll protect him in case of danger. Swears on Pellor and his whole life as a cleric. PC still low on health from battle earlier that day. Coachman does it, needs money for family, and is also firm follower of Pelor. Cleric kills Coachman in middle of forest, immediately takes his divine powers away. Cart stops. PCs loot his corpse. Get robbed by highwaymen. What the fuck, DM? <laughs> <laughs> That's a, what do you call that again? <laughs> we can't show you. No. We'll put it up on screen. We'll put an emoji in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll get what, what, what hand signal we're making here. That's so unfair. How were we supposed to fight the bandits? There was literally nothing we could have done. Your encounters are too hard. Dwarven fighter. Refused to write a backstory. Horrible role playing. Lawful good. Most greedy person I have ever seen. That's well, that's okay. not bad for playing dwarven fighter. You like know, dwarves, if you have one bad characteristic, like them, they are greedy. They are greedy. You know? Yeah. Okay, grip. You enter the room and immediately see an ornamented chest. Mine! I loot it! What do I get? Rips pencil out of other players' hand to write down loot. Players kick his ass in-game for that. Pites for the remaining five hours of session and refuses to cooperate slash talk to the other players. Also caught him randomly adding 15 health points to his maximum health and fudging his rolls. Yeah, no, that's kind of like... That's just a mm, dick. <laughs> uh, no one likes him with the greedy fucker tries to steal all the He's way. not even an asshole, he's just yeah. a dick. The only way to keep it fair is to divide it up evenly, otherwise yeah. you're going to have problems down the line. Yeah. You know? Tiefling fighter. Immediately tries to start shit with farmers and taverns. Even my cows have longer horns than you, beast. I am not afraid of you. Leave at once. PC is offended to the core. Tries to kill the farmers as they return home. Fails and gets caught. Do not resist, beast. It will only make it worse for you. Tries to kill the guards and fails. Tries to escape dungeon and fails. Tries to kill guards again as he's recaptured. Gets chance to be sent out to kill a notorious bandit instead of being executed. Agrees. As soon as he's released, he turns around and attacks the guards oh again. Oh my god. Gets executed. This was at level one. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> Session zero. Explains to the players that this adventure will require strategy, thinking before acting, and it will reward handling things with care. In mansion, looking for key to locked door. PCs have been warned about extremely dangerous traps. Everyone searching except dwarf fighter. Not doing shit. Player is just checking phone and waiting until someone finds the key. Dwarf gets tired of waiting. Kicks door in. There's a button on the wall behind the door that's only activated when the door slams against it with full force, i.e. protection against forceful entry. Door swings open, slams against button on wall, ballista fires. Dwarf already low on health for trying to fight a shadow with his axe. Crit. <laughs> what? Wait, what? <laughs> 
Dwarf gets nailed through the head with a massive ballista bolt. Dead. Is upset and pites. Stays only to condescendingly comment on everything that happens from that point. Urge him to leave. Yeah, please. Just yeah, just get the out. fuck out. First adventure with that set of characters. PCs run into a forest at night instead of following a path. Get lost. Blaming me. Saying getting lost in a forest is unrealistic. What? It's the most realistic hey, I thing about it. I know. <laughs> lost horrible. in a forest with like your cider whenever you're like 14, going ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going <laughs> start lighting the forest on fire. Okay. A group of druids start attacking them. They start coming out of the trees like fucking Vietnamese <laughs> Vietnamese boys, like <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> having seen them lighting the forest on fire refuse to stop lighting things on fire try to flee the fire they made is cutting their paths off level one cleric thinks casting create water is enough to stop <laughs> this massive forest fire what the fuck dm how are we supposed to get out of this <laughs> pcs refuse to surrender whole party dies Ask them what the fuck they were thinking lighting the forest on fire. I don't know, DM. It seemed reasonable at the time. You're probably starting to see my player's MO. First, they get themselves in unsalvageable situations and then complain about not having a way out. It boils down to, if you do this, you will die. I do this, you die. Whoa, that's so unfair. Whoa. They rarely manage to get past level one. They usually immediately derail my campaign, fuck shit up and die, after which I can spend hours helping them all make new characters because they're too stupid to do it alone. They refuse to learn the rules and cheat when I'm not around. Me get a years. new get a new grip, they've honest to God. I for oh. four years, you would think you would have picked up enough, you've would have learned some basics, you know it really doesn't take I, I, it's a type of game. If you play it, you'll pick it up. You can't explain yeah. someone will go. No. But the more you play it, it's actually not that bad. Yeah. You know? Um, like also, might as well put in a promo. If you guys want to play D&D, we've got D&D Westmore. Ooh! Um, <laughs> next time we'll check that shit out. DM mentions that bandits wear leather armour. Have to stop the game and explain to him that leather wouldn't be an effective form of armour. DM mentions a short sword hitting my full plate character. Have to stop the session and explain to him that historical full plate made the wearer essentially immune. DM mentions that one of the wizards cast a spell. Have to stop the game to explain how magic doesn't exist. DM mentions that the dragonborn fighter attempts to use his fire breath attack to damage the fire resistant tiefling. Have to stop the game to explain the fact that dragonborn and tieflings can't genetically exist let alone have fire breathe or fire resistance. DM mentions that goblins start molesting my character because I'm a little bitch. Have to stop the game to cry in a corner because I'm a little bitch. <laughs> oh, fuck, that was a good one. As a GM, and a pretty damned fine one, I've banned martial classes from my table, 5th edition, because they're so boring and useless. Level 1 wizard. I can move stuff with my mind. Level 1 fighter. Herder, I can hit with a sword. Level 20 wizard. Can summon interplanar creatures and cause handful of dice damage. Level 20 fighter. Her, I hit three times with my sword. <laughs> <laughs> See the problem here? Players are not to bring martial classes to my table. I am a barbarian. I have the highest hit die in the game. Two times that of the wizard. I have a natural armor that allows me to tank damage without wearing anything. I have the rage ability which not only gives me resistance to the most common damage types in the game, slashing, piercing and bludgeoning, but also gives me proficiency on every melee attack. This increases as I get more powerful. By level 2, I can sense traps and deal more damage, at the cost of getting more damage. By level 5, I can attack twice and move faster. By level 7, I gain advantage on initiative and can't be surprised at the beginning of combat. By level 9. I deal 3 times damage on critical hits. This increases to 4 times damage at level 13 and 5 times damage at level 17. By level 11, I gain the ability to not die if enraged. By level 15, my rage lasts an entire encounter. By level 18, 
my strength score can be used for strength checks and saving throws. By level 20, rage and all its benefits becomes permanent. Decide to join Grip. DM tells me he doesn't allow martial classes. He tells me marshals are useless. Meanwhile, the wizard gets a paper cut and has to roll death saves. Yeah. Now, look, don't get me wrong, I can kind of think like that sometimes when it comes to barbarians, because, like, everyone always goes back on Conan the Barbarian, and it's like, I'm an angry caveman. <laughs> you know, but don't get me wrong, they are cult. It just, it, honestly, it really does. I always pick barbarians, then. I know, then. but that's because they can be a lot of fun. Though. Yeah. But it always, I think it comes to I just like the role playing in it as well. Yeah, but that's because I am a fucking barbarian! <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think it always comes down to what you're playing, what class it is, you know, and just. Hey, you're doing it, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's plenty of really fucking dull ass wizards, you know what I mean? <laughs> there is. <laughs> there is. Tell me. Yeah, no, there is. <laughs> yeah, there is. How many hints does the DM of your group give out? He has to give out tons. All the players are brainlets <laughs> and have problems with the most simple of logical puzzles. <laughs> There is nothing more frustrating than having people talk about doing something for half a fucking hour without trying oh, anything. No, oh, oh, don't. I fucking hate that. I fucking hate that. Oh. And they spend this time convincing themselves of shit that they have no evidence for. It's incredible. I am the DM, by the way. I've been total party killed by too many puzzles to just jump into them without some discussion. No, says the DM with a vacant grin. The whole roof collapses on the party. Whoa, great session, guys. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Now, I know we kind of do this a lot on this channel, where a lot of the stories are told from the perspectives of like players and stuff. And a lot of the times, DMs can be villainized quite a bit. But it's nice seeing DMs. It's like... Just be like, what absolute retards do I have here? That some know? of the people they play with are. Yeah, sometimes I, I, I can definitely understand DM Barnight, yeah. where like you know they're really trying to guy to put in all this effort, all this got, effort, all this work you know, to have a really good campaign yeah. and it's really fun, and then the players are like, hur, 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 hur. <laughs> yeah, it's, it can be really, <laughs> oh, it can really kill you sometimes. But like, um, I really enjoyed these, so like, hopefully you guys enjoyed them too. Also, remember to go down. We have a D&D West March server. So if you're like, you know, in lockdown like us, you might want to go Hopefully on everyone check. is in lockdown. Yeah. Stay home. Stay safe. Yeah, please. Don't get the sickness. Please. Stay safe. Please. Please. Wash please. your hands. <laughs> wash your bum while you're at it. Yeah, get the toilet roll in, you know. But like, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. All of the really good shit. Check the links down below. And we'll hopefully see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh.